For this video, I'm reviewing the AMD video upscaling feature that has been introduced with the 24.1.1 drivers. And while I know that some of you are quite mad at AMD for not releasing the, the video upscaling feature at least to the RX 6000 series, being only supported by the 7000 series so far, well, I can tell you right away that you're not missing much. And I know that some of you will tell me how great it is and blah 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 blah, but I did test it myself and I made sure it was enabled and I found that it is actually the opposite of that. And just before the real tests, let me just know if you find any difference, because I'm pretty sure you can't. And video upscaling is actually hard to show because I have to record a video of the previously recorded one to show you the, the video upscaling on versus off, then I have to use those recorded videos to render the video that I'm gonna show you and then that same rendered video will be uploaded to YouTube that will compress the image quality once again. So it is basically compression on top of compression on top of compression. So it is hard to show but can be done. Unlike today's sponsor, that's easy to show. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mo, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. So let's start. The first test is with the native 1080p video that I recorded with my camera for the previous 50 games on the Ryzen 7 8700G APU, and even when watching this on a 4K monitor, well, I would say the difference is minimal, if any, being the most noticeable thing the letters on the 8700G box that are indeed looking clearer, and the fact that the upscaled video, well, somehow delivers slightly warmer colors, but apart from that, it is more or less the same. Let's watch a bit more. An AI because uh, it in fact supports an a NPU inside the APU. So we have the CPU, we have the, the iGPU, which is basically the integrated graphics, the Radeon 780M, and then we have the NPU, something that is... And moving to the first side-by-side -side with Alan Wake 2, as I told you before, I can hardly notice any differences in video upscaling off or off in real life, so I find it hard to believe that you can, especially on a video. I mean, apart from the slight differences in terms of sharpness, the differences are null. In Pell World we do have brighter colors, thing that the upscaler works better with, and it seems that now we can indeed notice a slight difference with the upscaled image looking clearer in terms of the grass, for example, and with far objects looking sharper and slightly more detailed. Like the character model, for example, that does look a bit sharper overall, and if you look at the handles of the axe and pickaxe, you can see that the upscaled video does show a bit more detail, but sincerely it isn't anything you could notice in real life. But then I thought, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe I might be wrong and video upscaling isn't really working, so I tested in another computer with another graphics card. And for that I used another Microsoft Flight Simulator video I have from the 8700G video I made, because I wanted to see if there would be a difference with a video where things were moving faster. And guess what? Nope. Apart from the slight sharpness increase once again, there is no noticeable difference even with a zoomed in video. Something that did not change when I tried Smite as well. We did have a bit sharper detail, but that was about it. Nothing even remotely close to what we have when going from a game at native 1080p to 1080p upscaled to 4K, sadly, so yeah. And the same goes for another Fortnite footage that I tested. Here, once again, besides the small sharpness difference, the video upscaling feature brought absolutely nothing to the table. And once again, I thought to myself, maybe, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So I went and tested it on the browser. On Chromium-based browsers like Opera or Google Chrome, Chrome of course, course. Uh, you need to do additional steps. You have actually Chrome, two points, tab tab, flags or something like that and enable the media foundation from auto to enabled in order for the video upscaling to work. And you can see it working perfectly. I could notice that even when not changing the sharpness slider, that when enabling the upscaling, some subtle things would change in the image, but really subtle, uh, with the sharpness being the most noticeable one, of course. Still no improvements in terms of actual quality, sadly. 
And it also didn't work with VLC out of the box, since it wouldn't even apply the sharpness, but it did work with Media Player Classic or Windows Media Player without the need of any additional tweaking. And that could easily be seen in the UI sharpness in, in the Slice of P gameplay as soon as I fiddled with the slider. And that's basically it. Overall, there are some features that I see some developers launching AMD, NVIDIA, Intel, that I think to myself when I see them, I always think to myself, nobody's going to use it. And the AMD video upscaling feature is one of those features that I think, once again, that nobody's going to use it. In my opinion, at least for the state it is, in the state it is right now, it is definitely a, a no-go feature. It doesn't serve for anything. Anything. You just might as well watch the video that I want to watch <laughs> it's my cat. You want to watch without any issues. I even tried some older anime videos at four, uh, 480p and even in those scenarios the video upscaling wouldn't really help that much. You would notice it a bit more, a bit sharper here and there and you would notice a bit more details. Maybe with some detail here and there but overall it wouldn't make any difference in the end of the day. So. It is, at least in the state it is right now, once again, AMD video upscaling for me is just useless. You are useless. And I would have liked AMD to just wait a bit more because this is a feature that nobody was really asking for all the time. Nobody's asking for this. Um, at least a very few people were, let's say that. So AMD could wait a bit more and just improve it and then release it working perfectly. Even more because on my main computer it worked fine, but on my secondary computer I actually had to, to use DDU two times in order to make the video upscaling work. Um, because it wasn't working as soon as I tapped the slider, it wouldn't even enable. So I had to DDU once and it wasn't even there, even there it wasn't working and I had to DDU twice. And this shows once again how green the, the AMD video upscaling technology still is. It needs to improve quite a lot in terms of upscaling quality of course, and even if the upscaling wasn't functioning well, well it means that it was even worse since I did all the steps that AMD indicated and still we had no visual quality improvements overall, so yeah. For me, AMD video upscaling as it is right now, is useless. And well guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Flock, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just grab my cat for you guys to see. Mmm, cat killer. Help you. Cat killer. Mm. And well guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this technology. If it actually works better for you or not, because once again, this is my experience. I tried two different computers, two different monitors, two different graphics cards, and I still think that it is useless. Let me know in the comment section if you think it isn't useless and why it isn't useless, because sincerely, I really want to know. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys.